Hi guys! So today I'm doing um, a Taylor Swift inspired makeup tutorial for her video um, We Are Never Getting Back Together. This is a really simple makeup look, so easy to do. The only extra thing I've done is add fake eyelashes but you don't have to do that. Um, it's also a really great look for if you just want to go out and do it quickly, you don't want to faff about with loads of makeup but you want to look stylish and pretty so this is my tutorial and I hope you enjoy. See you in a second! Okay so I've already done my foundation so I thought it would just make things a bit quicker. Um, I use L'Oreal Infallible, um, it's one of the lightest colours they have and my buffing brush. So next I'm going to get straight onto concealing. Just want to conceal under your eyes and any blemishes that you may have. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. As you can see I'm nearly out of the powder, well and the concealer as well but the powder, I absolutely love the powder. Just going to pop this under my eye under both eyes. You can use the corrector as well, I'm just going to use the concealer today. Often I put it on my lid as well but I'm not going to today because I'm going to use eyeshadow and this will just help um, eliminate the, any darkness that you have under your eyes. As you can see, really really good. And um, I have a couple of little blemishes so I'm just going to use my um, NC20 Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. Always need a little bit of concealer though. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of my primer potion on my lids. This is by Urban Decay. Only a little bit, we're going to put hardly anything because this look is really natural. Okay. And now I'm just going to take um, Brulee by MAC Skin Coloured. Obviously you don't have to use MAC, this is just what I have to hand. And my big large fluff brush. Take that all over the lid. Because uh, Taylor doesn't look like she's really wearing any eyeshadow. So I'm just going to contour the eyes for the um, eyeliner. Because she always wears eyeliner. I'm not um, her biggest fan, but also... I, I do actually enjoy her makeup, uh, her makeup, her music. So I do listen to it, you know. Okay, next I'm going to use Cork by MAC. It's a very light matte brown and just a blending brush. And I'm just going to contour my um, eyes really gently. Just to give it a bit more dimension. The way you want to do this is just take it from the outer corner up into your socket. And you don't need to put lots of product on. I'm just going to drag a tiny bit of that along my bottom lash line as well. Hopefully you can see that's just added a small amount of definition to my eyes. Next I'm just going to pop a little bit of highlight. I'm going to use Shroom for this. It's um, a fairly light, slightly shimmery colour. Nothing too shimmery because the makeup honestly just looks so natural. And then I'm going to use Floof, which is a bit more shimmery for the inner corner. Just to add some dimension. Opens the eyes up. Okay. Um, that's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. You can fill in your eyebrows if you like. I'm just going to do mine really quickly using cork and brulee. Only very slightly. So I don't want them to be too dark. I'm trying to make this video very quick so you can see how easily you can get a really kind of polished look. Um, obviously I think you should take a bit more time with your eyeliner because I find eyeliner, you have to take your time with it otherwise you will mess it up. Okay, next I'm just going to do a small amount of contouring, just because it makes you look a bit more shapely. And uh, Taylor Swift has crazy cheekbones. For this I'm using Hula Bronzer by Benefit. If you watch me regularly you know that anyway. <laughs> it's pretty much the only one I use. Don't need to use it a lot because Taylor is very pale. Just want to help your cheekbones stand out. Just a little bit. 
Then I'm going to use a very bright, bright blush, but obviously I'm not going to make it bright. I'm going to kind of only apply a small amount. This is um, Mediterranean Santorini blush by Sleek. <laughs> it's crazy. Using my blush brush, blush brush from Real Techniques. I'm literally touching it, tapping it off, and then I'm going to really gently apply this to my cheeks. I'm almost, I'm kind of just feathering it on, hardly even touching my cheeks, because this is a beautiful flushed colour. It's very natural if you get the right amount. Next for a highlight, I'm using my Wonder Woman by MAC. This highlight here, absolutely beautiful. Really natural and yet brings out your cheekbones beautifully. You can see that. Okay, now for eyeliner. I'm going to be using my Carbon um, Glass Super Liner. do a quick flick on my eyes. It doesn't have to be too thick. Whatever suits you. And that's all you have to do. Just gonna do the Okay, now we've done the eyeliner. Um, I'm going to go straight onto the lips and then I'll go back to the eyes and do mascara and fake eyelashes. You don't have to do fake eyelashes, it's just um, an optional step. So the red eyeliner, eyeliner, the red lip liner I'm gonna be using. It's by 17 and it's called Claret, Claret, Claret. <sighs> Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, lip line is done. Now you can apply your lipstick. Um, I'm using Viva Glam 1 by MAC. This is a matte red. It's a bit blunt, <laughs> but it's okay. This is the perfect red because it's pretty much what um, Taylor Swift had on. Okay, that's the red lips done. I'll just zoom out for you. Um, I do have medium to large size lips and tailored lips are really big. So feel free to kind of like draw around the lines, but keep it in, you know, kind of normal range. Don't make it look ridiculous, but you can just accentuate the lips a little bit. Um, now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So they're ready for the fake eyelashes. Um, I have very natural ones here. These are actually from Primark. They were one pound, but they're really lovely. Okay, I'm just gonna position them on my eye now. Okay. Let them get a little tackier. You want them to get them as close as, to your lash line as you possibly can. So you can curl them if you like. I'm just doing it really gently so they kind of fit in my natural lashes a bit better. So, um, I'm just going to add some mascara to add a bit of bulk to them. 
and also to kind of blend in my natural lashes. Only doing um, mascara to the top. And lashes. that's the finished look, believe it or not. Um, I know that seems ridiculously easy, but this is all that Taylor Swift seems to be wearing. She may not even be wearing fake eyelashes, but I presume she would be, especially for like a makeup video. But these ones I think are perfect because they basically just accentuate your natural lashes without making them look like whew, fake lashes. Um, I hope you like my hair. I'm kind of going for a bit different style. Um, it's quite fair at the moment, but I need to get it cut so badly. Anyway, this is my Taylor Swift We Are Never Getting Back Together makeup tutorial. Also, it's just a really good way to do your makeup quickly and easily, not expensive products. I mean, you don't have to use what I used and it's just so easy to look nice and glamorous and go out for a night out or wherever you want to go and not have spent, you know, half an hour to an hour doing your makeup. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!